All right, so I've been fooling around for off and on for the last couple of months, um, trying to figure out if there's an alternative to carrying around a canister stove or a gas stove. Um, so I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, unfortunately, about wood gas stoves, and there's plenty, there's plenty out there. Um, so first, I made one that uh, looks kind of like this with um, it's got some slits in the side down there and some holes around the outside and um, it actually worked pretty well. What this is is a Progresso soup can on the inside and a one quart paint can on the outside. So it worked alright but the problem with it is um, it makes the bottom of my pot black with, uh, with soot. So this is the pot that I'm using and every time I used that little stove I had to clean I had to clean it and scrub it in the sink for, uh, a lot to get all that stuff off of it. Um, and that seems to be sort of a common problem with these little stoves. So I started watching um, another guy on YouTube whose uh, name I can't remember at the moment but I'll post a, a little link to it to his channel. Um, and he was making a stove out of uh, a stainless steel coffee mug, which is pretty neat. So I made one of those also. Um, you can see I've got, on this one, I've got 12 little holes around the outside, and um, there's some stainless steel mesh. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in there or focus. Uh, it's got some mesh at the bottom there and some, some little holes. And I followed. Um, that guy's instructions and he was basically advocating a five to one um, five to one is it primary to secondary basically he was saying there should be five times as much area in these holes at the top as there are in the holes at the bottom so I followed those directions pretty closely and that seems to work a little bit better at keeping the soot off the bottom of the pots as opposed to this one which has um, much more airflow at the bottom um, comparable to that one than it does at the top. So uh, the other thing that I also did was obviously this one has a lot of holes at the bottom um, whereas this one only has one because uh, I took another page out of that guy's playbook and made this little fan which is a computer fan and I had some trouble this is a piece of duct material so like AC duct and I just rolled it up as tightly as I could and tried not to cut my fingers up too much and threw a couple of pop rivets to hold the fan in place and to hold the uh, the, the, the funnel nice and closed um, and then I, I wired it just has a red and a black wire and I wired it into a USB plug so that I can either use this, which is a lithium-ion battery pack, or I can also use this, which is a little um, box that holds AAA batteries. It holds four AAA batteries, produces about five point something volts, and. Um, so that's what I was using. That's what I'm using to power the fan. Um, for this, I'm going to just use this XPAL USB power supply, which works pretty well. So, so that, that's that's been my experimentation so far. Uh, that little one, I might I might make a video of it going um, at some point in the future, but it's just not big enough. It doesn't hold enough wood. Um, I liked the Progresso and the, and the paint can because it has a bigger chamber to hold wood um, uh, and, it, and it'll burn for a lot longer. So what I decided is that I would sort of combine these two designs and make this guy right here which seems to work pretty well. So basically it's got the same construction as the one before. It has a Progresso can on the inside with the, there's a mesh there to keep the wood off of the very very bottom and inside the can I have eight holes that are 11 64ths 
eleven sixty eight holes at eleven sixty fourths, and the top has twelve holes at I want to say five sixteenths. So I'm pretty sure that that gives me a very very close to a five to one ratio, and I don't know if that five to one ratio is actually uh, something proven by science for these wood gas stoves, but that's just what I heard, and it seems to work. So um, that's what I did. And instead of putting all the holes around the outside, I just put uh, the one there for the uh, for my little fan. So um, I'm going to get everything set up. I'm going to put some wood chips inside of there, and then I'll come right back and uh, do a little demonstration of how it burns. Okay, so I'm back with um, that wood in the stove, and I went ahead and tamped it down a little bit. Um, just shake it around to get all the wood settled down to the bottom. I got my little uh, air funnel in there, and I forgot to mention that when I first was testing this, and I, I'm still not even sure if this is, you know, um, I don't even know how well this thing works, really. I've only burnt it a couple times. But when I was testing it, it sort of felt like Especially in the in the mug stove, it sort of felt like there was this fan was actually pushing too much air. So I thought about it and thought about it and finally um, Google figured out what these things are. It's a potentiometer, which will um, vary the voltage coming from the batteries. So this is actually too too big, so it only it doesn't adjust it very much. But I don't know if you can hear. It'll actually adjust the speed of the fan and tur or turn it off completely. So that seems to help a little bit, especially if it seems like the air is overpowering the burn. Um, but like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just fooling, fooling around with stuff. So, um, all right, so let me get this thing started with some charcoal fluid. I'm probably going to catch myself on fire here because I'm dripping everywhere. Move this out of the way. Matter of fact, I'm going to wipe that up. I'll be right back. Okay, I wiped up that dangerous little spill, so let me go ahead and light this thing on fire without further ado. And that was just some charcoal lighter fluid. It seems to work alright. I've also used um, denatured alcohol to get it started but it doesn't seem to work quite as well it's too volatile it turns into a gas too quickly so I'm gonna let that burn for just a little bit well let me see let me see what happens when I turn it on so there's the fan going sort of on that's all right that's as high as it'll go turn it down just a little bit but hey, you know, I mean, it seems to like, even at the very beginning, it seems to help, so. I'm just going to let it keep, I'm just going to let it keep going. I'm just going to turn it up all the way and see what happens. Because it looks like it's lit from both sides. There's the whole thing again. Now, um, what I'm going to do is put on this, which is a measuring cup that I sort of cut the bottom off. You can see the measurements there. It's all just a stainless steel measuring cup, and I'm just going to set that right on top. To act as a flame concentrator, which I've also, you know, I've heard that that might that might cause the stove to work a little bit better by keeping some more heat in. So I just sort of threw that on top, and then here is the pot holder, which came from a tuna can, like a big size tuna can, and I used this pretty extensively with my other with my other stove. So you can see that that's actually already starting to go pretty good in there. The fan's running full speed, more AAA batteries. I got some water in here. This is a GSI uh, Dualist. It's about a little less than halfway full. I don't know how much water that is exactly. But I'm going to set it on top there and we'll see what happens. We'll see if I can make this sucker boil. I put a bigger thing of water on there um, when I first tried it and it almost boiled, but I might have had too much water or too big of a pot or something. 
but I will um, remove the pot every every so often so you can see how well it's burning. And I can already see it's really starting to heat up. I'm using my battery pack to actually charge my phone since I'm low on battery. So I'll cut away for a minute and see if anything else interesting happens. Also, by the way, this um, is just a, a stove dish, one of those things that goes underneath the burners. Um, and I just have it, it's not attached to the thing or anything, but I just have it there to protect my little, my little cart. So that's it. We're still going, still going pretty well. It looks like it's starting to gasify the way it should. And I don't know if you can tell, but it, I see some blue gases in there. I don't know if that's, you know, if I can do something differently. If anybody has any suggestions for this type of design, please, you know, just let me know. Because, like I said, I'm no expert in this. So I'm just sort of piggybacking on what other people have done. All right, here we are. I don't know how, how far into this we are, but uh, it's probably been about three or four minutes. Um, it still looks like it's burning pretty well. You know, I keep, since I keep disturbing this pot, I don't know if it's, I keep, I, you know, I keep moving it to the different side. So I've got that there. It looks like it's got a nice little swirly type thing going on. I don't know if that's apparent. It does look kind of swirly, like cyclone -y, which is kind of neat. But, um, I don't know what has done that. But I like it. I still have the fan up all the way. It looks like it's starting to pick up a little bit. It's definitely picking up some. Okay, so I have a, a legit question that I want to actually pose to anybody who might know the answer to it. So, um, setting aside the water for a second, because we'll just, you know, we'll see if we, if we can boil it regardless. Here is what the flame looks like. Here's what the flame looks like with the fan going on full blast. Alright, so it looks, I mean, it just seems kind of shaky or something. Here is, I'm turning the fan down, and watch, when I turn the fan off, the flame starts to come out like crazy, but it also, I can also see the black smoke, the soot coming off of it. And that's what is staining the bottom of the pan. So I feel like that's not that's not exactly the right way so there goes the fan back on but see it almost blows all of the it did bl it, in, in fact it did blow everything out so let me see if I can get this thing to light again okay so I did get it to light again just by blowing into the top of it which caused the which caused the flame to come back but I still don't really like what I'm what's going on here because it doesn't seem like something's not happening exactly right so maybe the wood is packed down too much or maybe there's not enough airflow going down but I don't seem like I'm getting enough jets out of these these holes here so is it too much air I don't know see that's ooh, that's super duper slow I wonder if that's actually right See, that's, the fan is still running, but it's going super duper slow. And it, I got some weird looking stuff going on in there too. Can anybody tell me what's happening? Oh, see, I just, I just smoked it out again by turning the fan on. Alright, I'm going to blow into it. And I got a flame back. But what am I doing wrong? Am I hurting am I hurting the flame? With too much air? The last time it actually burnt pretty well, I think. But um but I'm not sure if it was hot enough.
Okay, I'm not now. I'm not getting much of a flame through. I'm getting I'm getting it through occasionally. So this has been sort of my dorky quest for the last, off and on for the last couple of months, is trying to figure out how to get one of these to be an ideal replacement for a regular stove, just because it'd be neat. Okay, so just a couple minutes after I blew the flame out a couple of times, um, that's what it looks like again with the fan going full blast. Uh, so it looks it looks fairly healthy. I mean, I don't know. It seems like too much airflow. Let me turn the fan down a little bit. See if that makes a difference. Okay, that's lower than it was. I still don't see much of a difference. I'm not putting out any soot, any smoke at all, unless I I just turned it back up because I don't know if that turning the fan down did anything. So let me put the let me put the pot back on. And this is fairly ideal fuel. That was wood chips from Lowe's, like cherry wood chips. And I am heating this water up pretty good. I see the vapors coming off. Um, I mean, that's cherry wood chips, totally dry. It should be more than ideal. And you know what? Um, just on the face of it, it, I can remember when I was burning this thing, it looked like it burnt a lot better, but it sooted up everything, and it had that sort of real big wispy flame. All right, just uh, mysteriously, it looks like we have some other activity, some more activity going on in the pot here. So the wood has gone down quite a bit, but the fire looks way better than it did. Just, I mean, looks like the fuel is probably halfway expended, and I've got, I don't want to put the phone too close, but I've got like a little tornado thing going on in there, and my wife is trying to burn her hand. And, yeah. So I mean, it, it, this looks uh, this looks like it's going super good, but I don't know why it almost blew itself out earlier, and now I've almost got a boil. So I'll cut back once the next interesting thing happens, but we shall see. Okay, so sort of bad news. This thing petered out. Um, it, did, it never put out any smoke, but I just lost the flame completely. Let me turn the fan off. And my water didn't quite boil. I mean, it's really smoky. But see, this is exactly what happened. I heated up water in this thing um, the last time I burnt it. And it got so close to boiling that it was really frustrating. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if I should cut more holes in the bottom. I can't remember if that's primary holes or secondary holes. But I don't know if I should cut more airflow to the bottom so that more air can get in the bottom. Or I don't know if I should... Um, I want to keep the fan because that seems like it might help wood burn better, if it, uh, especially if it's damp or something. But, hey, I don't know. What should I do? Alright, so just to recap, I didn't quite get the water to boil. Um, it seemed like it started burning pretty well right off the bat, but when I turned the fan off, it let out that nice big plume of smoke, but it also put off a lot of soot. Um, and then when I would let that go for a second and then turn the fan back on, uh, it would sort of have a tendency to um, almost blow the flame out. So I don't know exactly what sort of modifications I should try to make. Um, but I do want to keep doing it because this is a lot of fun. And I would encourage anybody that sort of has an interest in backpacking to, to try this out as well because I want somebody to come up with a really, really good camping stove that will burn all kinds of different wood completely even if it's a little bit damp because that seems to be the problem that I always have 
All right, so even here, I have some pieces that aren't fully converted into ash. I mean, none of this is all the way ash. It's all coal or char, I guess. But there's a, I know that wasn't, that wasn't part of it. But um, the inside of the pot looks fairly clean. So, I don't know. Let me know, let me know what I should do. Thanks for watching.